94.7 KMET. Tweedly, little bit of heaven, 94.7 KMET. Tweedly. Metro Media Square in Hollywood. It's 6 o'clock, and it's time for The Big News. That's right, The Big News on 94.7 KMET. The Friday Big News is the most comprehensive news program aired. The KMET News crew has been working round the clock to bring you up to date on the latest developments in Los Angeles, the USA, and across the world, including Alaska and Australia. And now, ladies and gentlemen, without further ado, it's time now to bring in the Big News Anchorman, the most least respected journalist in his field, winner of no Golden Mike Awards, and currently on probation for poaching. Ladies and gentlemen, here is Paraquat Kelly with the big news. Thank you, Rick Scarry, and you're right. This then is the big news, featuring this particular week, weekend tips and places and things to do for the next 34 hours. That's coming your way on the big news, and of course, KMET's popular fish report with the beach. <laughs> Hind it to find it to hind it to find it to hind it to find it to pop it in your mouth. Hind it to find it to hind it to find it to hind it to find it to pop it in your mouth. Hind it to find it to hind it to find it to hind it to find it to pop it in your mouth. Hind it to find it to hind it to find it to hind it to pop it in your mouth. Hind it to find it to hind it to find it to hind it to pop it in your mouth. Hind it to find it to hind it to find it to hind it to pop it in your mouth. Hind it to find it to hind it to find it to hind it to pop it in your mouth. Hind it to find it to hind it to find it to hind it to pop it in your mouth. Well, I'll tell you, that's that popular song, the KMET fish song, as a... Uh, Performed there by Groydon Boytenheimer and uh, Paraquat. It's 6.03 at KMET. Well, friends in the news locally, that is, of course, being uh, here in the state of California, there is a big weekend planned in Colingus. Well, Mr. Lacey, you're manager of the Colingus Chamber of Commerce. Right. And uh, I understand that we're having a big weekend out there coming up. We it's certainly are. We're starting right now. What are we doing? Well, we're just we're getting concessions put up and... and uh, We've already had some some events go on already. Uh, we had a coloring contest for coloring contest for for youth. 
uh, for the youngsters of the first and second grade in the colored horn toads. And then we had a variety show uh, Wednesday, and all the local talent came out, and we had a wonderful show. And then, of course, this is all leading up to uh, up to the, the big day, which is Saturday. And Thursday evening, we had a senior citizen's uh, day at the Baker Museum, and we entertained the seniors and told them what fun they were going to have on the, on the weekend, and they had a lot of fun at that time. Oh, well, this sounds like it's just uh, a... Just so much fun, huh? Right. And uh, we're setting up the uh, the racing uh, arena now. It looks like a boxing arena, actually. It's almost that size. Perhaps you could describe it to well, us. Well, actually, uh, what it is, we have a, a tub that uh, is in the center of this ring, and the several lines that go out to the ring, the ring is about uh, 16 or 18 feet in diameter. And, and the, the first one that gets to the uh, first horn toad that gets to the outer ring after the bucket is lifted wins the race. Sounds interesting. Of course, sometimes they crawl and sometimes they just dart across so fast it's just a matter of seconds. Well, for heaven's sakes. We, we have a par mutual booth and we bet on them and have a lot of fun. How much? A mighty buck or two. Oh, stop. Right. It sounds like it's just too much fun. We really do have a lot of fun. Now listen, suppose, let's say, somebody's listening to me and you talk now. Yes. And they'd want to go out there, let's say, to Kolinga. Mm -hmm. How would they do it? Well, they would, uh, from down south, they would get on uh, the Golden State uh, Freeway and then and turn off at, uh, on, on I-5 and go north on I-5 till they get to Kalinga, which is about 200 miles from Los Angeles area. There it is. That's the Kolinga Horn Toad Races. It's 6.05 at KMET Big News. Now, friends, if you can't make it to Kolinga's this weekend, possibly you could make it to Nevada where they're having another contest there of interest. Well, Carolyn Maseko, as I speak to you, you are in Hawthorne, Nevada. How you doing? Just fine. I understand you folks down there planning a big, uh, a big weekend. Uh, what's coming up? It's our 30th annual Armed Forces Day weekend. We have... Who? a military base here. I also understand you also have, because uh, this is Armed Forces Weekend, you also have Armpit Weekend, too. Well, that's something new this year. Is this because of the military and it's the 30th year or what? No, the Armpit Contest, a reporter from Sacramento was here for a, a, a promotional thing and did not think too much of Hawthorne and apparently went back and wrote that he felt we were the armpit of the world. So the members of the Chamber of Commerce thought, thought this might be a good thing to try to promote Armed Forces Day, get us a little bit of publicity. I understand you're going to, as a matter of fact, have an arm pit uh, contest. Right. Now, what categories are we looking at here? Okay, there's three categories. The smelliest, the hairiest, and the best decorated. Jeez. <laughs> this, this sounds like a nice town, Hawthorne. Oh, definitely. A very nice town. We're in a good location. We've got Water skiing, snow skiing, clothes, hunting, camping, just about anything. What can you tell us about this armpit uh, contest that we don't want to ask? Yep. Who are you going to hire for a judge is what I'm trying to figure out here, Carolyn. I mean, who wants to be the judge of the well, smelliest armpit contest? We've got three members of the chamber that have volunteered to be judges. Now, on the smelliest category, we were hoping to get a mechanical ammonia sm sniffer, but that did not work, so that one's kind of... Uh, I don't know who we're going to get to judge that, if we can find anybody brave enough or not. Oh, my, my. Of course, uh, the, the most, uh, how could you decorate an armpit? Well, some of them are talking about braiding, um, drawing faces. What, what's the uh, other category? I think I forgot. Hairiest. Oh, well, that's easy, huh? Now, that one should be fairly easy. Many women going to be entering that from Hawthorne, Nevada? I don't know. Well, this sounds like it's going to be one heck of a good time. Of course, this is all just the sidelight, because the big thing coming up, of course, is Armed Forces Day. Right. We have a parade. We have a rodeo, a street dance, a barbecue, train rides, um, art displays, a talent show, a little bit of everything coming up this weekend. Well, listen, you folks have a great time in Hawthorne, Nevada. Uh, meantime, uh, we'll maybe give you a buzz uh, Monday and find out who won the contest. Hey, you ought to give me the name of one of those judges. Maybe we'll call him up, and if, he can, you know, if they can bring him to... We'll uh, talk to him. I don't know if they'd be willing to or not. They may still be out, out of commission. <laughs> <laughs> we really appreciate you calling and, and getting us the publicity on it. And, again, the Armed Forces Day is a big weekend in Hawthorne. And hey, listen, one final thing, Carolyn. Uh-huh. I suppose you're going to ask me, how do you get to Hawthorne, Nevada? Okay. We are approximately 300 miles north 
west of Las Vegas, 140 miles southeast of Reno, Nevada. Well, that just pinpoints it right there. Anybody traveling between Reno and Vegas comes through Hawthorne. I bet you're freeway close to any city in the world. I don't know about that. <laughs> Hey, nice talking with you, huh? Okay, thank you very much. So there's just two things you can do this weekend. Enter the armpit uh, contest in Hawthorne, Nevada, or the horn toad contest in Colinga. KMET, providing you with information that you really don't need to know. But we're providing it for you anyway. Uh, finally, friends, this weekend, uh, if you want to, uh, to do something, you might want to go fishing. And it's that time. Mm. We can actually run down the, the fishing uh, that you can expect this weekend at various places, right, Brenner? Sure. I see you got your rod uh, uh, out. It's out. Mm-hmm. Matter of fact, I got it uh, standing straight up here, <laughs> corner next to me. Best one I ever saw. <laughs> okay, then we ought to do something with this rod. Sure. Uh, maybe toss it on over there into yeah. the thing on the hill. Let's see what we come one. up with here. Paradise Cove reports 51 anglers, 410 rock cod, one sole, two pair of shoelaces, some Adidas high tops, five water moccasins, some fish of Iranian descent, and we got your goat's head bade, seven Bonnie sodomy sardines, and one Ayatollah Tom Cod fish. Ooh. At the Liberty Bell in downtown Philadelphia, we have an Irvin Work Your Magic Tonight Johnson oh. Jellyfish, a Steve Landsberg Minority Mullet, Storm and Norman Shootin' Starfish, a Spencer Ha Ha Haywood Huya Halibut, oh. a Jamal Wilkes Layup Lingcod, and a Kareem on the Whole I'd Rather Be in Philadelphia Flounderfish. Whoa, oh, Dolby's Mullet Hut in Swill Shack, whose special this week is 10 free lessons on how to take the big lunker crappy in any lake without getting caught reports. 56 anglers, and the usual scum that uh, frequents Dolby's. Also, they have fish. Four lingcod, five weasel-breasted gar gobblers, five fellatio fish, six grease palm perch, and one perch on my rod cod fish. In the Ladies' Foundation Department of John Wanamaker's Department Store mm-hmm. in Liberty Square in Philadelphia, Yoma. a chocolate flounder dogfish, mm-hmm. a Dr. J. B. in need of a house call halibut, a Caldwell Jones carp, a white lightning beached whale fish, and a Maurice Cheeks Philadelphia clam chowder fish. Jeez, Chris goes landing where you can get the political uh, politicians actually played for lunch. Uh, they include the Carter carp, the Kennedy king size shrimp platter, or the George Bush lappers burger with all the trimmings reports. 67 anglers now for the fish. You got seven. Greek grommet, uh, 17 I felt a thigh trout, 56 Sigma Delta hair pie halibut, 54 Phi Beta Carpa, 67 Delta Delta Dildo Dolphin, four, and go ahead, Bernard. Cool. <laughs> I was just sitting here. Oh, okay. Well, in the media, everywhere you can possibly imagine a Brent Mustberger, a muff diver, but not around here, please. Afro clam fish, a Bill Russell blowfish, a Chick Hearn popcorn machine pompano, and a hot rod Huntley who cares herring. Well, okie dokie. I guess you got them all, didn't you? Hey, we try and we try. <laughs> what about a Daryl Dawkins dolphin? Dildo dogfish. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's just real nice. I'm sorry. It's okay. Forgive well, listen, me. Well, My listen, mama told be... me not to talk like that. Oh, it's all right then. Okay. <laughs> I'll talk like that. Okay. Thank you. Up next on the Mighty Met, we'd be looking at the weather. Then it'd be rock and roll with the Burner Turner. I'm Sugar Ray Leonard, king of the fight. They're watching my left, in comes my right. They say, Sugar Ray, he's only a pup, but I proved them wrong because I'm moving up. You can feel us coming now, a fresh look on the scene. With a whole new style of living, light and crisp and clean. That's why now we save the age of 7 Up this year. Because we love that crisp, refreshing taste, so light and crystal clear. Moving up, moving up, look it up, look it up. Sugar Ray is turning 7 up. Reach it up, reach it up, feel it up, feel it up. America is turning 7 up. I'm with Dave Parker of the Pirates. Dave, what was your best slugging percentage? Two last second, last slug down four 7 ups in 3.6 seconds. Move it up, move it up, look it up, look it up. Dave Parker is turning 7 up. America is turning 7 up. Southern California weather, fair tonight through Sunday, except some low cloudiness late tonight and early tomorrow. They say a little bit more extensive on Saturday night and Sunday morning, slightly warmer on Saturday, but cooler on Sunday. It says the low in the middle 50s, the high tomorrow about 76, Sunday in the lower 70s. 61 at the Civic Center at B right now. At the L.A. Airport at 62, Long Beach, Orange County at 64. The Valley, Simi, Thousand Oaks, 71. San Diego, Del Mar, 67. And currently at Metro Media Square here in Hollywood. 6'3", 
63 fish. This then be Paraquat Kelly here. Next news at uh, 6 a.m. Monday morning with Ace Young. As KMET informs Southern California, now KMET rocks Southern California with the rock and roll. Here be the burner, Mary Turner. Fish. Hey, have a good weekend, Fish. Hey, I already am, Fish. Thanks anyway. I mean, thanks. You too. Okay, Fuck. bye. I mean, is there any doubt? It's 6 o'clock, and it's time for The Big News. That's right, The Big News on 94.7 KMET. The Friday Big News is the most comprehensive news program aired. The KMET News crew has been working round the clock to bring you up to date on the latest developments in Los Angeles, the USA, and across the world, including Alaska and Australia. 
And now, ladies and gentlemen, without further ado, it's time now to bring in the big news anchorman, the most least respected journalist in his field, winner of no Golden Mike Awards, and currently on probation for poaching. Ladies and gentlemen, here is Paraquat Kelly with the big news. Thank you, Burton. And you're right. This is me, along with my broadcasting counterpart... ...with the big news! On this Friday. Jeez. Well, friends, in the news, we start off with this tale of woe from Kansas. Well, Captain uh, Dean Krell, you're with McPherson County Sheriff's Department, and I understand you're investigating a very heinous crime at this time. Uh, what, what, what is it? Well, we're investigating the... A two-way mirror we found in a motel room. Oh, my God. <laughs> Let me ask you now. Does this happen very often? That's the first time it's ever happened to us. What exactly uh, prompted you, you guys to, to perform this investigation? Uh, apparently there was a complaint. Can you give us the details? People that stayed in the room that one night, last uh, Saturday night, gave a, they called the Lindsburg Police Department, and they went out and found the mirror, and so then they called us, and I went out and investigated for the office. Can you describe the hole to us? The mirror was on a wall, which is a knotty pine wood uh, material, and uh, the mirror had been placed over a, a, a cut in the wall. The wall had been cut away uh, from the uh, a storeroom that was in back of the wall. Have you guys uh, uh, contacted any suspects in this case? Uh, we don't have any suspects. We, we've talked to the owner of the motel, and he says he doesn't know anything about it. Listen, what happens if you get busted for, for being a peeper? <laughs> well, in Kansas, it'd be a violation of privacy. It's a, it's a misdemeanor charge. Do you plan to stake out the hole? I doubt it. Uh, when I left, the owner was putting another mirror up. And this time, I think it was just a one-way mirror. Well, thanks a lot for talking with us. Okay. <laughs> we appreciate it out here, you know. All right. <laughs> it's 6.03 at KMET. You're not there, are you? No, I'm telling a joke. Give me a break, will you? <laughs> if you want to go on, and I'll just sing a little bit. No, okay. Let's, let's go fishing. Oh, you want to? You want to? You want to do it? Yeah, but I could tell you the joke about the Pope on the airplane. <laughs> go ahead, tell <laughs> me. Maybe I shouldn't. <laughs> oh, go ahead. Let's go fishing instead. <laughs> let's talk about cows. Let me just pull out the old rod here. Okay. How is it? Ah, divine. Well, the Thousand Oaks Cod Chuckers report: 32 anglers, 101 calico bass, 45 merkin mullet, four Crisco carp. 67 goat parts perch, 23 face flounder, 2 floating crappie, a wall-eyed hair pie, and 1 suppository holder halibut. Whew. I knew it was polluted, but give me a break. Redondo Beach is reporting 17 cow cod, 131 bovine bonita, 88 Guernsey groupers, 56 heifer halibut, 13 black bull heads, and 26 calf carp. Whoa. Well, Adobe's Mullet Hut and Swill Shack, home of the Piranha Burger, the only sandwich in the world that eats you, reports uh, 45 anglers, 34 derelicts, 4 reprobates, and some bait. Now for the fish. 12 Roland Rock Cod, 5 Cat Fever Scratch Fish, 98 Pacific Coast Trench Hose Monster Fish, Tuna, some Bone Eater, and one Wall-Eyed Beaver Pelted Pocket Perch. Whoa. Whoa. And Malibu has 31, the buck stops here, buck mm. fish, 14, don't call me, I'll call you fish, 88, it's in the mail fish, 76 here today, gone tomorrow fish, 104 Acapulco princess perch, 54 pigeon penguin pies, and a Nugent big wang sweet poontang fish. Whoa. Oh, well, Crisco's Landing, the only place on the west coast where you can still get the bent rod fisherman's breakfast featuring the two scrot eggs and three steel lampreys in a blanket with all the clam juice you can drink reports, 63 anglers, 42 of them, uh, by the way, violently ill, six deep sea bass, five shallow sea cod, 67 foul mouth bass, and one tube steak enema trout. Also, Turner, Captain Crisco wanted me to pass this on to you. Mm -hmm. uh, what do you get when you have one green ball in your right hand, one green ball in your left hand? A duck. Wrong. Kermit the Frog's undivided attention. <laughs> <Cool>. <laughs> Well, Port Why Not Me has one and only one Tara Alexander all night long fish. I'm not finished. Can you start again? <laughs> Thank you. 84 love stinks and that ain't all fish. 12 Montecito muff divers and a lone blind lemon trouser trout. <laughs> and that'll do it then for this edition of KMET's Fish Report with the Beat then. Thank you. 
For three days, March 28th, 29th, and 30th, the streets of Long Beach stop carrying traffic and fill up with excitement. It's the Toyota Grand Prix of Long Beach. When Formula One excitement is over, the streets of Long Beach go back to carrying traffic again. Well, uh, thank you very much. Uh, Southern California weather fair tonight and Saturday with some cloudiness at times. Increasing cloudiness Saturday night with a good chance of showers beginning late Saturday night or Sunday. It's not just a chance of showers, but we got we got a good chance of showers. Now, the low tonight in the upper 40s, Saturday night the lower 50s, the high Saturday near 65, uh, Sunday about 60, and a chance of showers increasing to 40% Saturday night. Couldn't you just die? At the Civic Center, it's 58. L.A. Airport, Long Beach, Orange County, the Valley, see me, feel me, touch me, heal me, Thousand Oaks, 57, San Diego, Del Mar, 61, and currently at Metro Media Square here in Hollywood. 5555 five, five, Carp. This then be Paraquat Kelly. Next news at uh, 6 a.m. with Bro A. Shung. Now, KMET Rock Southern California. With the rock and roll, here be the burner, Mary Turner. Whoa. Whoa. Have a good weekend, bitch. Oh, thanks. How do I make you? I axed you. That's Linda Ronstadt to get things going here Friday night, finally, a Friday night and a rock and roll weekend. I'm Mary Turner, and we're 94.7 KMET.
Coming straight on, and I'm coming to get you. That's Heart on KMET. Nick Lowe, they called it Rock. A, a musical question from Linda Ronstadt. How do I make you? Want a list? Uh, yeah. <laughs> Be glad you yeah. Have Count it on your little fingers here. Okay. <laughs> from one to ten. <laughs> What's one? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that's what I thought. Well, let's discuss this further here in the dark. We started off with The Who and joined together, and that's what uh, we're about to do here. Repute of the Buddha, Part 2. He's coming up next on KMET. hoo ya.
gentlemen, due to a technical difficulty, the Jim Ladd radio program on KMET will run as scheduled. Personally, it is my belief that this scum-sucking slime has no place in the annals of broadcasting. But what do I know? I said in California, Mr. Respectable here. That's me all over. We'll be right back. Welcome to Pacific Stereo. From Warner Brothers Pictures. Gilda, you've read the book, played with the doll, chewed the gum, and swapped mementos at Gilda conventions. You've slept on the pillows, wept over rumors of her secret marriage, collected every issue of Gilda magazine, and put a honk if you love Gilda bumper sticker on your car. Now, see her on the big screen, Gilda Live. Things like this only happen in the movies. Rated R, under 17, not admitted without parent. Okay, and that started today at the uh, Plitt Theater, Century City, the uh, Pacific Hollywood, another selected theater, so check your newspaper for the show times. Well, my name is Jim Ladd, and you and I be sitting here on a Friday. Got to do some business here. I mean, <laughs> the best things in life are free, but they don't go for radio commercials. We'll be back right after this. Avalon Attractions is proud to bring you Bob Seger. Sissy Spacek, Tommy Lee Jones, coal miner's daughter from Universal Pictures. Rated PG. Parental guidance suggested. Okay, that one is now... Uh, hold on a second. It's now playing at the, uh, at the Chinese Hollywood, the village <clears throat> Westwood and other selected theaters. You know, Van Halen has a brand new album out. And we're going to, uh... Damn, I can't get this thing going. Roll it too tight. 
There. Anyway, it's called um, Women and Children First. And uh, this is a song that is called Romeo's Delight. <laughs> Sounds good to me as KMT Rock Southern California. <laughs> Cause I ain't leaving We're in for a very long night Heard a vicious rumor from your mama's tongue You a desperate woman, need a man with a gun High crime zone in the city of life Made a please This is KMT Los Angeles. It's uh, Friday night, and I've been getting a lot of requests for Grateful Dead. So later on in the evening, Deadheads beware, we may be uh, pulling a set out here later on uh, tonight. Right now we're going to talk about the California Marijuana Initiative. Um, for, if for no other reason than, uh, you know, personal freedom, the freedom to uh, be able to grow pot in your backyard or in your basement, freedom to uh, transport 
certain quantities of it <clears throat> without even fear of a, of a ticket. Uh, the freedom um, that comes along with not having to uh, spend the outrageous amounts of money that are being charged on the street for dope nowadays. Uh, that's ridiculous. Marijuana used to be something that was brought in. A tiny profit was made on because there was definitely a risk involved, especially in those days. But the point was to get the people high, okay? To get them high on good stuff that wasn't sprayed with any kind of garbage. Uh, a good dealer uh, a few years ago would have never even considered uh, the fact of shortchanging anybody. It was always more like a baker's dozen, a little over an OZ, you know? But uh, nowadays it's different. You know, nowadays it's like... Uh, a hundred and twenty five dollars you know for an eighth of an ounce <laughs> of something that was supposedly grown on a mountain top somewhere in uh, east afghanistan i'm not quite sure this was uh you know during the russian uh <clears throat> occupation so it made it doubly hazardous so it's now gone up to 150 dollars an eighth of an ounce. i mean it's just bizarre on the streets plus the names are really cool you know <laughs> it's like, first off, everything is sense, right? Everything is now sense me. It's amazing. Anyway, we could help uh, alleviate uh, all of these problems and many more if we got the California Marijuana Initiative on the ballot. Now, the deadline for petitions to put this thing on the ballot is May 1st. The election is in November, but we got to get it up before May 1st. Um... To find out where you can pick up petitions, KMT suggests you call Normal in Los Angeles, area code 213-652-8654, or you can call the California Marijuana Initiative headquarters at 461-2788, or you can call them in Orange County at area code 714-629-6935. One more thing I want to remind you about, and that is tomorrow... There's going to be a rally held to uh, get interest up and petitions passed out for California Marijuana Initiative. And this rally will be held at Orange Coast College, 2701 Fairview, Costa Mesa. Anyone out uh, by Costa Mesa should attend this. If you uh, are into it, need to sign the petition, want to hear, just get some information on what it's all about. It'll take place from 11 o'clock in the morning to 1.30 p.m. in the afternoon. And once again, that's Orange Coast College in Costa Mesa. Okay, this is 94.7, KMT Los Angeles. Strange thing that uh, pot will do to, you know, uh, get us to go through all of this uh, incredible energy here to get uh, Mother Nature's herb up, you know. Uh, we're going to do something now. You know uh, some of the side effects, guy, they're always talking about side effects. They used to tell us it caused birth defects, right? <laughs> then they used to tell you that it would grow hair on the palm of your hands if you smoked a joint. I mean, it was amazing, you know, that you would immediately run out and rape your sister if you smoked a, a doobie. Well, we found out that really about the worst things that happen is incredible munchies. People crave things all of a sudden after smoking. In my case, it's things like custard pie and cheesecake and tuna facial smelts. KMET.
I said to her, I said, look, I'm so hungry. I mean, I'm hungry. If you will give me a piece of your custard pie or a slice of that cheesecake, I'll introduce you to this friend of mine. Oh, you'll like him. Stands about this high. No, a little bigger. There you go. And he's got uh, a red neck. And he looks somewhat like a rocket. Seriously. is me, along with my broadcasting counterpart, with the big news. On this Friday, Jeez. and as is our custom on a, a finally a Friday at the Mighty Met, we present Fish Report with a beat. However, due to the fact that one of our Fisher women is not here, we can't present Fish Report with a beat, so consequently we'll have to present Snow Report with a beat. And I understand, Lloyd, you've been up there in the, in the mountains uh, checking out the skiing conditions, and you've actually brought back a list of the entire uh, skiing areas that uh, we're all familiar with. Oh, yeah, sure. Yeah. Well, we have this list here. Yeah. And uh, <clears throat> you think it's okay? It's a bit of fun to find. Oh, it is. And is it, you say it's snowing well? Oh, yeah, sure. I mean, okay, fine. So if you're all set, are you set? Yeah. I'm all set. Are we all set? Without further ado, let's go skiing fish. We start off with Mount Penis, and I hope we're pronouncing that correctly. Uh, snow conditions leave something to be desired. They have six inches of wet snow, uh, some rocks on the face sh uh, saddle showing. Uh, it says be sure to try Napoleon Bonaparte Run. It's one of Mount uh, Penis's favorite. And a note from the Highway Patrol when entering the area, please observe all slippery when wet signs. Four. It's a fit of fun to Alpine Meadows. No snow, but plenty of meadow muffins. Jane meadow muffins, prairie dog sticks, field fruit, road apples, and an overabundance of field frisbees. <laughs> Thank you very much, sir. Groyd, uh, right next door, of course, to Alpine Meadows, we find Jane Meadows, which has Hamilton Jordan's famous and favorite run on it. We're talking about Hoover Ridge. Jane Meadows reports no snow, and only three facelifts in operation this week. <laughs> it's a fit of fun to mount up. Reports a lot of base, some bassy, rocks showing, and good skiing on the face saddle. 
but look out for low-hanging fruit at the fork of the hairy gourd. Thank you very much. Lake Titicaca in Peru reports great snow, light cut, heavy base, rocks definitely outpowering and overnumbering the Manit. Like the way I said that? <laughs> However, one uh, skier did report a good case of the runs on uh, chair, chair number three. Yeah. Royd? Who? Yes, get the friend to Jackson's Hole, uh, Wyoming. Because we like you, a hefty six inches of uh, well-packed pork powder on an eight-inch eel base. Roads leading into the area slippery, whips and chains required. Uh, finally, we have uh, Butt Montana, and I hope I'm pronouncing that right. I understand Butt Montana is the sister mountain to Mount Penis. They report that famous skier Hans Furberger reportedly shoosh-boomed the hairy crevice, and he got an edge caught on the Rocky Mountain oyster fish, and he ended up on Beaver Ridge with a mouthful of tuna-favored fish. I guess that'll do it then for this uh, edition of KMBT's Snow Report with the Beat, where I'd be Paraquat Kelly along with... Droid Neboytenheimer. Fish. And up next on the Mighty Met, we'll take a look at Super Southern California weather. Then we got uh, rock and roll for the taking the day off burner Mary Turner. It'd be Rick Scary Fishum Hill. <laughs>